I'm this time not going to ask you, I'm just going to tell you that the gentleman on the right is Horatius. He was recently quoted by Tom Cruise in Oblivion. Horatius was the soldier uh, who was standing when the army of Clusium uh, invaded Rome. Clusium was the army of the army of Rome. He had 8,000 soldiers, he had 8,000 soldiers. And Horatius was the only person who was standing there alone to fight with that army. He was still standing, he was severely wounded, but he continued to stand there and the army had to go back. He single-handedly defended all the fort and the beauty is this one. Then out spoke brave Horatius, the captain of the gate. The Horatius Pucha, captain of the gate. To every man upon this earth, death comes soon or late. Everyone dies. And how can men die better than facing fearful odds for the ashes of his fathers? for the temples of his gods. And I think that's what we should remember. That there are good purpose to live for all our lives. If we have looked Sahih Parpad Apne Liye Chun Le, Sahih Parpad Apne Liye Decide Kar Le, from this moment on, we can find a real meaning for our lives. We can make it really meaningful. We can make it really uh, what we can call as the life of human excellence. She especially come to listen to Dr. What keeps you positive all the time? Well, I think uh, really the spiritual side of all our cultures, uh, of all ethnic groups, especially the immigrant groups that come to the United States, is something that keeps us grounded and keep, makes us reflect on our human situation. And I think that uh, that in all cultures, as we see in, uh, here with this presentation, uh, it's a way to create a, a, a national consciousness that benefits society in general. I think um, you know, what we see happening throughout the world is a classic example of conflicts created by governments and not by the people. If you were to go into any of these areas that are conflicted and talk to real people, you will see that they want what everybody else wants, and that's peace. They want to take care of their families. They want less conflict. But it's the governments that don't allow that representation of the regular people that enter into the conflicts that hurt the world order. Uh, that's why, you know, uh, you know, although democracies are not perfect, but democracies are a way to allow that the regular people who desire peace can put leaders there that promote that type of peace. Uh, since he's uh, representing us, he has uh, been blessed with the uh, height that takes him to take a look from 6-5. So how does the world look uh, from up there? Oh, it's a great view. I mean, you, you're always in the action and you can always see what's going on. So uh, very good, very good in terms of the view and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talking about uh, today's event organized by Gayatri uh, Parivar of Long Island, uh, in general, how do you feel uh, these kind of activities, do they help in the society at large? Well, I think they're inspirational and refreshing at the same time, especially to celebrate Indian culture and Indian thought. And um, I think the message today from um, the, our excellent guest and speaker was one of perseverance and persistence. And also knowing that um, while taking care of yourself is one thing, but also looking um, out for everyone else um, in, in, our, in the play of life, that we have a lot of influence and a lot of dedication to the community and uh, many of the things that we do do affect others and I think um, he used some excellent examples of people that have persevered even though they were disabled but have gone on to do great things to influence many people and um, to inspire people to reach their goals. And uh, Dr. Pandya, allow me to request you to share uh, a little bit about your background. Uh, some of our viewers have also heard Dr. Uh, Pandya Saab, your father and Share with me, growing up, uh, looking at him so active in activities which takes his focus beyond family. How was it? Did uh, you ever felt that you were not getting as much attention as a son would expect from his father? Uh, good question. Uh, actually, I was born and brought up in the ashram Shantikun. Shantikun is the headquarter of All World Gayatri Parivar. And uh, the days actually I was growing, uh, I saw Pooja Gurudev and Vandaniya Mataji also there up to at least uh, my teenage years. Uh, very different environment altogether. So it's been uh, a, a interesting journey for uh, for me at least that I grew up in an ashram. 
then had an opportunity to uh, complete my medical graduation with the blessing of Gurudev and then to work in London for nine and a half years. Uh, um, last job I held was as the consultant in uh, older people services in London and uh, looking after the Alzheimer's disease treatment service. Um, the question that you asked that how is it actually getting the attention when uh, we were growing up Gurudev and Mataji were there and uh, uh, being next to them was like standing next to a radiating sun and uh, when you are next to such a divine personality uh, concept like uh, worldly relations uh, blood relations they uh, probably lose their meaning completely so I think we never had that feeling of uh, because there was so much love and affection uh, already given to us without uh, even being asked for that there was no never actually felt that we probably missing anything in fact we were getting a lot in brief if you want to say something uh, on uh, as a gist of what you share today to our viewers um, the gist of today's talk was the theme was the human excellence uh, but the the concept behind it is very simple that as human beings we are unique in the sense that we have got an opportunity to take whichever way we would like to take our lives to. Kans comes from us but then Krishna also comes from us. Ravana comes from us but then Ram also comes from us. Angulimal comes but Buddha also comes from us. We have got a possibility to live either a life of Angulimal but also have got a possibility to live a life of Buddha. What can we do different to live a life of Buddha than being Angulimal was the real a reason of this presentation, idea of presentation was that human beings are uh, full of possibilities. The pinnacle of this possibility is the human excellence and how can we acquire it, how can we exceed in our life and simple uh, summary was that if we have the purpose uh, for ourselves in the life and that purpose is associated with commitment and, and right attitude and then we are living with compassion to make the lives of other people meaningful then we have got excellence in our lives. That was a really excellent way of uh, summarizing it. And then lastly, the adverse circumstances and challenges and sometimes the kind of news as we have heard recently, uh, there was uh, this uh, plane uh, about the space on Ukraine, Malaysian Airlines. So when we hear uh, these kind of things, a sense of helplessness creeps in and how uh, the other ideas that you were sharing uh, may work uh, in sync uh, with uh, such... Uh, threatening situations uh, threatening situations would continue to be there I mean when second world war was taking place Maharshi Arvind was there too when first world war was there Maharshi Raman was there too so I think this world has got both possibilities coexisting at the same time in the same distance Angulimal is standing one meter away Buddha is standing one is height of the evil one is the pinnacle of uh, compassion so we have got both things I think uh, these things these sort of challenges would also continue to present in front of us but at the same time uh, the path that has been offered to us from the ancient wisdom of working with compassion working with the right attitude with refinement of our personality and our uh, feelings and, and, and uh, thoughts uh, that can never be compromised, that should always prevail.